Hello, my name is Dalin Fee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel for you to get updates on all of our episodes. Now today, we want to use the calculator to find the arithmetic progression using the calculator. So we have a sample question. Find the 11th and the 20th terms of a linear sequence of the form 4, 9, 14, 19, etc. So we want to use the calculator to work for this. And the steps have been listed as follows. First, you press the mode. So I press the mode. And then you choose option 3. That is option 3. So with statistics, we press 3. And then you choose option 2. So this is for arithmetic progression. And the sixth one is for geometric progression. Now because this is arithmetic AP, we are choosing option 2. So we have option 2. And you have seen this new interface. The X column will be filled by the terms. And then the Y column will be filled by the corresponding values for the terms. So in this question, we have 4 as the first number, and then 9 as the second number, 14 as the third number, and then 19 as the fourth number. So this is the terms. So the first number will be here. That is the first number, second number, third number. And the value for the first number is 4. So the values will be written here. So let's go. We have the first term. So we write 1. And then you press is equal to. Then the second term, that's number 2. So second term, you press 2. And then it's equal to. Then the third term, that then we press 3. And then it's equal to. So when we are done, because this is for examination purposes, you don't need to enter all these numbers. As a matter of fact, if you are able to enter the first two numbers, that should be okay for you. Because in examination, we are working with time. The purpose of this education is to help you pass your mathematics. So you don't spend so much time on a question. So we, we go up to um, using the top arrow, and then we have finished entering the X coordinates. Let's go to the Y. You do so by pressing the right arrow. Now, the first term. So here, what's the first term? That is 4. So the first term, that is number 1. The first number, the value of the number is 4. So we are going to place the values here. So this 4 will be here for the first term. So you press 4, and then it's equal to. Then the second number is 9. So second number, 9. So you press 9, and then it's equal to. Then the third number is 14. So the third number, we enter 14, and then it's equal to. Now, this calculator has been made in a way that when you enter data and you press the equal sign, it automatically saves the data. So we need to move on to the next stage. To do that, we will have to clear this. And by way of clearing, please don't press any other thing except AC. So we are having step 3, you press AC. We have done step 1 by pressing mode, and then you press 3, and then you press 2. Then you enter the data. Then the data, the S column, you are going to put the terms. And then the Y column, you are going to put the values of the term. So the first term, okay, so the first term, if you come to here, we have first term, we have 1. And the value for the 1 is 4. The second term is, this is the second term. So we have second term. The value for the second term is 9. And you, you place that under the Y. Then once you are done, you press the AC. Your data has been saved on the calculator. So the next thing is that we want to find the 11th and then the 20th term. To do that, you need to go to step 4 by pressing shift. Then you press 1, then you press 5, and you press 5 again. So let's do that. You press 1, you press 5, you press 5 again. So if you look at it, this is what you are looking for, Y cap. So we are going to press the number 5. So you press number 5. This symbol simply means what term are you looking for? That is the meaning of this term. What term are you looking for? Now, we are looking for the 11th term. 
So to find the 11 term, we need to move the cursor from this place to go to the left hand side of Y cap. And to move the cursor, you simply press the left arrow. So I press this, the cursor moves. Because I am looking for the 11th term, I am now going to enter the word 11. So after entering the 11th term, I am going to look for the answer. To do that, you simply press the equal sign. So when I press equal to, it means the 11th term for this sequence is actually 54. Again, the question asks us to find the 20th term. Already, the first three terms will help you enter your data. Now, to get the answer, you are always going to repeat this shift 155. Five. So, to get the answer, once again, we go. Remember, already, your data has been stored, okay? So, even if I press AC, my data is still there. Now, to get the 20th term, I am going to press shift, and then you press 1, then you press 5, and you press 5 again. This time around, we are looking for the 20th term. So, to get a 20th term, move the cursor to the left-hand side of this. So, I move the cursor to the left, and you enter the number 20. So, 2, 0. Then you press is equal to. Then you are having your answer. So, it means the 11th term and then the 20th term of this is what we have just done. And this is very simple. If you are using your calculator 991 ES, it should not be difficult for you at all. Okay, so we have another question and we want to use the calculator to solve for this. That is using calculator to find the nth term, okay, and then a term in a sequence. Okay, so to do that, as usual, you are going to follow the steps. The question says the 6 and the 11 terms of an AP, where AP means arithmetic progression of an AP are respectively 23 and 48. A. Determine the 20th term. B. If the nth term is 2, 2, 3, find the nth term. And then C. Calculate the sum of the first 20th terms. So the sum of the first 20 terms. Now to do that, we follow this procedure. First, you press mode. So I press mode, and then you choose option 3. So option 3, by key in the number 3. And then you choose option 2, by key in the number 2. So the first step, mode, the number 3 and the number 2. Then we come to this. Now we are saying that this X and Y, it simply means the X is asking you what are the terms are you dealing with. And then the Y column is also asking you, what are the values for the term? So in the question, the terms we are dealing with are the 6th term and then the 11th term. And the value for the 6th term is 23. And the value for the 11th term is 48. So when we come to this, the I under X, the first X term is 6. So the 6th term, we are going to put 6 here. And then 11th term. The second number will be 11. And then the value for the sixth term is 23. So the Y column is for the values for the terms. And then the X column are simply the terms. So let's enter. Any, any data you enter, you must remember to key in this equal sign. So first, we have six term. So you enter the number six, and then you press is equal to. Then the next term is 11. So you enter the number 11 and then you press is equal to. Now your data has been entered. So you use the arrows by the top arrow and then you go up and then we are now moving to the Y column. You can do that by clicking on the right arrow. So on this, then we come to this side. And here, remember we said the Y are the values for the terms. So in the question, the sixth term is what? So the sixth term and the eleven terms of an AP are respectively 23 and 48, meaning the sixth term is 23 and the eleventh term is 48. So the value for the sixth term is 23. Then you enter 23 on your calculator, followed by is equal to. 
Then you also enter the 11 term, the value is 48. So we enter 48 on the calculator followed by is equal to. Now that you have entered your data, the calculator automatically saves your data. And so we have to clear the screen so we can move on to find the answers. And to clear the screen, you simply press the AC. So you press this AC, your data is still intact. Then, so step one, step two, and step three, we use the, these three steps to enter the data. And then the step four is what we are going to use to get our answer. So step four, first you press shift, and then you press five. So you press shift, and then you, you press one. So shift, and then one. Then you press five. So you are choosing option five. So option five. Now you see that we are having an interface. Now what we are interested in is the Y cap. The Y cap here simply means what term are you looking for? The question here is asking us A, to find the 20th term. So because we are looking for the 20th term, we'll pick the option um, 5. Now whenever you are looking for an N term, the Nth term of both um, AP and then GP, you must use the 4. So the nth term, you are using 4. But any other term, you are using option 5. So the first one, because you are looking for the 20th term, will go for option 5. So you click on 5. The, what this Y cap is asking you is that what term are you looking for? What term are you looking for? Now we are looking for the 20th term. So you have to move the cursor from this side to the left hand side of this sign. Okay, and to move the cursor to the left side, you simply press the left arrow. So we are now here. All you do is that enter this number, the term you are looking for. So here we are looking for the 20th term. So with this, you press the equal sign and it will give you your answer. So by the use of calculator, it means the 20th term for this particular sequence is going to be 93. Okay, now the next question says, if the nth term is 2, 2, 3, find the nth term. And like I said earlier, the first three terms are the first three steps. We use them to enter the data. But the fourth step is used to find the answer. So to find the answer, we have to repeat the step four by pressing shift. And then you press one, so one. And then you choose option five, so option five. Now, we are looking for the nth term. So, we are not going to use option 5. Option 5 means you are looking for a particular term. Let's say the 5th term, the 7th term, the 8th term, the 100th term. That is where we use option 5. But to find the nth term, you must always use option 4. So, option 4, I click on number 4. It will take me to option 4. Okay, so here what the calculator is asking me simply is this. Let me claim that. Okay, so here it will give me something of this nature, the Y cap, um, the S cap. The S cap means what is the value for the nth term. Now the question is telling us that the value for the nth term is 233. Now I have to enter the 233 at the left hand side of this. So you move the cursor to the left side and then you enter two, three, three. So it means the value for the nth term is two, three, three. So what is that term? To know that term, you simply press on equal to. So it means that is 48. Now for the sake of this lesson, let's repeat. Your data is already there. To look for the answer, you must always use shift one, five. Then if you are looking for a particular term, use option 5. If you are looking for the nth term, then you are to use the option 4. And that is very, very easy. Now the next thing to do, question says that we should find the, uh, we should calculate the sum of the first 20 terms. So the sum of the first 20 terms, meaning from the first term to the 20th term. That is how to find the sum of an AP from the first term 
to the 20th term. Now, how do we go by that? To do that, we are going to use this simple expression. So we are going to enter um, summation x, y cap, comma, 1, comma, 20. Why do we have this? The question says we should find the sum of the first 20 terms. So 20 terms mean from the first term to the 20th term. If the question has asked us to find the sum of the first 10 terms, then it will be 1 up to 10. If find the sum of the first, let's say, 50 terms, then it will be 1 to 20. But in this question, we are asked to find the first 20 terms. So that is this that we are going to use. Now let's go back to our calculator and then have this equation or this formula on the calculator. So with the calculator ready, okay, so we have the calculator. Already our data has been so, um, saved on the calculator, saved, secured. Okay, so it has been stored. Now let's enter. Now look at it. The summation, this summation, here is it. You see this summation, okay, with the orange color. And you see, to get this particular sign, you must first remember you press the shift and then you press this. For those who have forgotten or who have not watched our previous episode, we have the link at the description box. Please go and watch. We have as described how to get them. So I press shift and then I press this sign. I am having the summation. That is why I said step one. Press shift and then log E. I leave log B base E. So log this one. Okay. The reason is that we are looking for this summation sign. And then the next one is to get X. You know the X is here written in red. And to get that one, you press the alpha and then you press the X. That is why we are having press alpha and then X. Okay, then the next one, we want to see Y cap, okay, joining this. Now you know from what you have done, to get the Y cap, you press shift 155, okay. So let's press shift, then you press 1, you press 5, and then 5 again. The Y cap is there. Then the next thing is to get the comma. Okay, where is the comma? The comma is right here. Okay, this is the comma. Written with the orange color. And so you need to first press the shift and then you press the sign. So here we are seeing that you press shift and then X. That is so shift and X. Now you get a comma. Then followed the next one said the first limit. The question says the first 20 terms. So the first limit is 1. Okay, so we are going to put the number 1 there. And then don't forget, there should be comma separating the first term and the last term. So to get the comma, once again, you press the shift and then you press your comma. So you are getting the comma there. And then the number 20. So you enter the number 20. And to be on the safer side, kindly close the bracket. So this, I close my bracket. So if I click the equal sign, it will give me the sum of the first 20 terms, okay? So the sum of the first 20 terms, I am having 9, 1, 0. Now, this is how to find the nth term and then the sum of um, in either AP or GP. It's very simple. And you can help yourself by continuously practicing and watching this video. Please, if you have any comment, feel free and then let us hear from you. Please like our page um, on Facebook, uh, Darling Fee GH, and then on YouTube, you subscribe to Darling Fee. Thank you so much and have a good time. Good day. Bye-bye.